outside of Granny's? Um, not. I mean, it is what it is. You know, if I had bushes, I'd put them in here. But I mean, this there's the trees off to the side, but that's the that's the only thing. All right, I'm gonna get my. All right, I'm gonna be. Can I walk? How quick can I get from right here? To okay. Right here. To right here. Back to here. And back to here. Okay, so you're asking how long would it take to get from there to here and then back mm -hmm. again, basically? Yeah. From bar to, um, bar to granny. Okay, uh, probably like a minute. Cross straight across, it'd probably be like maybe 30, 30 seconds. seconds. 30 seconds. Like through here and then come across or from here and across, maybe like 30, 45 seconds. What is this thing right here? Uh, that's just a little sign that she has out that says Granny Shop, and it says it's uh, it's, it's like a chalkboard. It'll let her like write down deals and stuff on it. We'll walk over. I'm gonna step behind. Is there? There's no bushes or anything to hide anything in over here. Uh, I mean, not aside from the building itself. No. Oh, did the eight uh, talk itself to them? All right, I'm gonna go over to Granny's and I'm gonna take the Charizard out. Okay, your Charmander. Your Charmander, yep. I'm gonna put him behind. I'm gonna. And you're going. You're going straight over. The, okay, so you go over to the tavern, and you look inside and see who's in there, and then you head straight over to Granny's from where right, from there, right? right. Okay. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna light the trees over here on fire with my Charizard. Oh, it's Charmander. Charmander, whatever. And I'm gonna put them back in my Pokeball. Run back here. You are not neutral, guy. Yes, you have officially become chaotic. So. <laughs> this is no. I'm lighting these on fire. I'm not lighting Grammys on fire. I'm like, pull, pull, well, pull. I know. Are saying great. Quick, Grammy is almost on fire. We need to put it out. And all the hustle and bustle comes over here. I'm gonna hide in Granny. Okay. Uh, so the guard runs out. And uh, so on fire he, right now, right? He, he runs over to here. He sees uh, a, a little bit of fire that's on the the tree here, and he's like, "Oh, oh, geez!" And he's still got his coffee in hand, and he throws the coffee at it and puts most of it out. And then he runs into Granny's. Not much of a fire. Inside of Granny's, and he's like, "He's like, Granny, you got some water?" And she's like, "Oh, yes, of course I do. Are you thirsty?" And he goes, no, Granny, you got a fire outside. <laughs> and and she's like, oh, oh, dear. And and she, like, fills up a, a little bucket of water and hands it to him. And he, he runs back he out here. And... He wouldn't leave her shop to go outside and look. No. What if I'm like, <sighs> so, but <laughs> as he walks in and is doing that, am I able to sneak in by them and get in? By when you say them. While he's talking to her and she goes in the back to get water, can I go to the back of the store and hide? Okay, yeah, I mean, you walk in. Like, I want to walk in and I want to, like, move, like, you know, like, when you're at Walmart and you always want to build a fort in the toilet paper section? Okay. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so you walk in and Taryn is in there and the guard is waiting at the counter pretty anxiously, so he's not looking, but Taryn sees you walk in. Um, so, and I, okay, so I, um, walk out. I give him the finger over like, the lips, the finger over the lips, and just say no. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm out, okay, I just walk out. I glare at him a little bit, I glare at him, and I just walk out. Okay. And I walk out, like, the back door, whatever door. You know. Yeah. You you come That's out the front door, yeah, and then and then the guard is like behind you a little ways after you walk out the door, and he splashes the fire and puts it out. And he comes back in and he's like, "Here's your bucket, Granny. That was that could have been bad, but it wasn't it wasn't too bad." I'll say we'll stop it, and she's like, "Oh, thank you. Uh, here, have a cookie, you know." And he's like, "Oh, thank you, Granny." And he takes a cookie and he heads back to the tavern. Where do these cookies magically teleport out of? Hold on, I also she's got, like an oven in the back. She lives in her shop, like she has like an upstairs to the shop, so she has like a little oven um, in the back, and that's where she makes her baked goods from. Hmm. The guard's going back to the tavern, and she's. 
you're going to wait. Okay, so Tim, what's what going are, on? What are, are, uh, I'm Quinn drinking my potion. Oh, Quinn's. Okay, I want to drink my potion. But Quinn, go ahead with what you're doing. All right, so is the store closed yet? Well, probably uh, not, not yet. yet. Here, I'll, I have I'll to let, drink my I'll potions and do stuff all the time. Quick. Yeah. Before the time. Yeah. Okay, okay go ahead. Fine. I'm going to try a little bit of the um, bright red potion and see if it does anything. Okay. See what it does. Yeah. All right. So in f uh, uh, in front of you appears a uh, like a an, a freaking ogre. Okay. And it starts like it running at you. Okay. Um, and it's like. <laughs> So it's like attacking me? Okay. Yeah, attacking you. Um, I thought he said these spells wouldn't kill us. These potions wouldn't kill us. Um, and it like swings at you. Okay. No. And then it disappears. Um, I, okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to use that one again. Um, I'll just jot that down in my notebook. Okay. Um, remind me not to use that unless I have someone who I can get to swing it. And I'm going to try, finally, the Teal Potion, is it? Is that the last one I have, I think? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, you feel you feel very strong. Okay. Good to and, know. How long does that last? And then and then it dissipates. Okay. And that lasts, what, a couple minutes? Few minutes? I mean, like, I didn't drink very like much. Seconds. It was a few seconds. Okay. How much of it did I drink? Like uh, just like a sip. Okay. So I just did like a full. sip for all of them. So. So it's basically full, essentially. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. So I'm good. Go ahead, Quinn. Do your thing. I'll try to get some rest. Maybe hang out at the bar. Yeah. All right, Quinn. So you are you're basically like just kind of amidst some uh, some of the packages and stuff that are inside in one of the shelves. Is it closed yet? Like behind it? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, as you're sitting there, like you managed to get yourself all like clumped into um, into the the merchandise and such like that. And as you do this, you hear the door open again, and like there's like a bell on the door, it's a ding, 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 you know, kind of thing. The voice you he you hear a voice, and it kind of walks in, and you hear these footsteps go around the store and such like that. And then uh, you kind of hear some some whispering to uh, to Granny. And then uh, the voice leaves. Yeah. All right, sorry, the, the door, like, opens. You hear the bell ring and whatnot, and then it closes. Okay. And you don't hear you don't hear. Now, whispers. Now I don't know what we should do. I'm sorry I didn't whisper that, because now Quinn's, like, in this position where he knows, but he can't really act on it like he should. Oh, it's okay. Um, are you just going to wait there then, Quinn? Uh, yeah, I don't know anything. that I didn't know my friends had betrayed me already, so... <laughs> All right, so you uh, you sit in there, and uh, eventually, I mean, it's certain, you know, I mean, you're in there for a few hours and stuff like that. So, um, but then the the store hits closing time, and you hear Granny walk up to the to the door, and she locks it, and then uh, you hear her like head upstairs to her kind of apartment, in a sense, up up above the store. Oh, she lives there, huh? Yeah, yeah. She lives like upstairs. Like it's like a whole separate floor. All right. Well, can I sneak up behind the counter then? Because that's a little time beforehand. Yeah. And I go in the back. Sorry, Quinn. Use my lockpick. You weren't. Well, you wouldn't be sorry if I didn't. Know well, no, you. no, I wouldn't. I, I'm sorry I put you in an awkward situation in the sense that you know, and now you have to act like you don't. I'm not sorry that I did it. I think it was funny. Go look in the back. Okay. I can pick locks, so I can go look in the back, or yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Do I you get back there? Do I see it in the back, or do I see? Uh, it? Actually, you see it up front. It's on the on the counter. Uh, I mean, she just kind of has it sitting there on the counter. It's just kind of a decoration piece now. Okay. And it, there's like a little sign by it. it says Granny's Cookies. All right, I'd like to pick it up. Okay. And as soon as you touch it, the a voice comes out from behind you. He says, oh, I thought you were in here. They told me you was in here. And, and the guard is standing right behind you. Well, I'm going to have to try and duck him and dodge him and get out of there with the gold. Okay. Uh, I mean, he's going to roll to try to do a grapple. 
This would have been so good if you didn't know, and then you're like, what? <laughs> hey, oh, wow. Like, we'd have another 30 gold head and someone not betrayed me. All right, do, uh, do a dexterity uh, save. It won't be good, because that's just my luck. I'm going to get freaking thrown in jail and then ruin the whole journey. Next um, sorry. You are supposed to be neutral gun, though. Okay, okay, you manage to dive out of the way before he can grab you. And uh, you run towards the door. Is it? Can I unlock it from the inside like most doors? Uh, you can, but it's going to take you a second. He's going to get back up and try again. All right, I'm going to try and I'm going to unlock the door quick. And then I figure I unlock the door. And as I unlock, he dies for me again. Yeah. Well, I'll have a chance. It. Did he roll a six he then? Rolled. Yeah, yeah. So I need to roll more time? Yeah. I can already tell you I have a plus six, so I'm gonna. do I really need to roll? Yeah, yeah. just roll it for fun. We'll see. It, basically, it's if you fail or crit. If you roll a natural one, that's the only way you can yeah, fail. Yeah, that's the only way. That's a plus one, though, isn't it? But it doesn't matter. Natural one always yeah. fails. All right, yeah, you managed to get out the door, and he, he yells after you. He's like, Gizzle, you get back here. Yeah. I'm going to run and hide out. Okay, Somewhere where are you hiding at? Where's everybody else? Uh, I don't know. Where are you guys? Um, well, we probably went to bed by this point, don't we? Or else we're at the end. Where are we, Jimmy? I've been sleeping soundly in my bed. Yeah, I'm sleeping hour. too. Okay, yeah. so they're at their houses. Go to Jimmy's house and sleep, with, sleep, in, sleep in the room with him. He lives over the dorms, so. That's fine. Okay, sounds good. All right, so you, uh, you go there. Um... Uh, he knows Jimmy. Later on that later on that night, uh, there's a knock at Jimmy's door. Okay. Ooh, now Jimmy's gonna have to decide what to do too. Oh, Jimmy's a really heavy sleeper, so he doesn't hear it. <laughs> okay. He didn't hear when Giz came in. All right. Do you hear it, Gizzle? Do I hear it? Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, you what probably you, hear it. What do you do? Don't answer it. <laughs> what? I obviously don't answer it. Okay. And it just, like, it just keeps persisting. You just keep hearing, like, the... You, you really need to roll a perception check, um, Jimmy, just to see if you hear it as it keeps I on going. Roll perception. Do you want me to be at disadvantage? Yeah, yeah, roll at disadvantage. Because it keeps on going, so you're probably going to... <laughs> uh, yeah, J uh, Jimmy, you actually, you wake up. <laughs> yeah, with that roll, do I see Giz in the room? Oh, yeah. You are like, you like spring awake. You actually feel like pretty rested from that. Like you're very aware of everything around you right now. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going? Oh. And I look over at him and I go, do you know why the door is not <laughs> Um, let's say I do, let's say I don't. Let's just say we don't answer. How about that? It just keeps going. Uh, I look at him. I look at the door. And I go, all right. Hide under the bed. I got this. All right. This isn't the first time he's done this. Oh, probably not. All so, right. So, so you he go goes to his usual hiding spot. Okay. And I go to the door and I open it. What do I see? All right. Yep. The guard is standing there and, and he's like mid knock. So he like almost gets you in the face. He goes, Oh, sorry there, Jimmy. I was just wondering if uh, Gizzle's been here. He was mm. caught stealing from Granny. Jimmy slowly rubs the sleep out of his eyes and he goes, Gizzle? No, probably it turns. Oh, uh, well, well, I checked the Terran's place, and I didn't see him there, but maybe he's somewhere else. Or, he's not here, and I would have known if he came, because yeah. I was sleeping. He would have woke me up if he showed up here, and he doesn't got a key or nothing. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, it's all right. I just, like I said, just checking. Uh, I guess he ran off with something valuable of uh, of Granny's. So he, he has a, a, a shack out in the middle of Route 1. He likes to hide oh, yeah. in. Oh, check out there. 
All right. Well, it's a bit late to go running around in the wild. You know, people get attacked by Pokemon that way. So I'll wait till morning. But That's well, shoot, smart. poor Granny. Yeah. I'll just have to talk to her in the morning. I'm sure she's not going to be happy. But all right. Have a good night, Jimmy. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, well, you're fine. Stay safe out there. I will. I will. Sounds good. You get some sleep. Okay. As the door closes, like yep. he closes the door, and then it's like, like you know, typical horror movie. I'm just standing there behind him. Oh, so, Jimmy. Did uh, yeah, give up my plan here. What? Did somebody give up my plan? I've been sleeping in my room. This Hang on, whole time, time out a second. Time out a second. Um. How would have Tim known that I was actually hiding in there? Would he have known that? Well, because I was there because I, um, I was going to run into. Because Skyler said you were there, like I, I was there, like I saw you when you walked in, so I knew you were going to be hiding. And out. he knew you had a plan to, to okay. Okay. steal Granny, so he probably put it together. All right, all right. And so I, for one, went right to my door after our meeting with Bill because I was tired. You know what, Jimmy? I believe you because. No offense, but you're not the. I don't think you could have put that on. I mean, I also just defended you for the millionth time. I, I, and, and on top of it, I know it has to be Karen. So I. Well, think, you know that anyone routed you out. How do you know anyone routed you out? Because, because nobody knew I was in there except for you. I mean, but I mean, the guard just happened to come. So you don't know. I mean, how do you know you were routed out? I guess as part of that. Nobody saw me in there. But you, I will point out that you told the guard that there was a fire, and then he put out the fire. So I mean, I don't know. He might have known something to an extent. So, yeah, I'm I can see why that. you'd be suspicious. I'm going to add that piece into there. Your exact words were that he was too preoccupied that he didn't even notice me come in. He didn't notice you go in the store, but he you were the person that told him about the fire. It's true. Right. I told him about the fire, but he doesn't know that I was in the store and that someone was in there hiding. I mean, this is true. This is true. Okay. okay. So I'm sitting there with Jimmy. So it mu must have been Taryn. Let's uh, go pay Taryn a little bit. But you also could have had Granny might. you. I mean, you don't know if Granny might have noticed or something. So. You didn't try to sneak in there so much. He said that someone, someone, they, they told me you'd be in here. Yeah, he did. Yeah, say that, that. that is what he said. They told me, whoever they are. So I'm going to go over. Uh, Jim, are you coming with or no? I don't, I don't want to go with you because I'm so tired. But like, I have a feeling you're probably going to kill him. If you see him, so I feel like I have to go. I'm not gonna hurt him. I'm okay, gonna, I'm. I'm, I'm, gonna hurt her. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, Jimmy. I'm gonna need you to wear a backpack and put me in it. What? Oh, whatever. Get in. And it just right. like picks him up by the head and like just stuffs him <laughs> in the backpack. So we okay. Go, we go over to Terrence. We get over there, right? It's okay. I'm getting ready to roll a deception roll. <laughs> But you're fine. Oh, I'm asleep. So can I wait? On on your way there, on your way there, the guard is kind of outside of the dorm, and he's he's chilling. He goes, "Where are you going, Jimmy? I thought you were sleeping." Oh, and does he see Gizzle? Does he need a roll of protection? No, no, Gizzle's in a backpack. Gizzle's in a backpack. Oh yeah. Tell him that we're gonna go. Try, that you're going to get Taryn. We're trying to find Giz for you. Is this what he whispers in my backpack? Yeah. Uh, and he goes. Well, that's weird. Your backpack is whispering. I'm not standing next to him. What? That doesn't what? make sense. Why would I be next? Well, twenty on perception for that. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, he's. Uh, then he goes. Oh, I'm just, I, when I get tired, I mumble. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. You're I'm, fine. I'm, I'm heading over to meet Taryn so we can go look for Giz because he might be in some trouble. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, if you see him, definitely let me know. Uh, I, I just need to have a talk with him. Honestly, as as long as, you know, the the piece that was stolen from Granny gets returned, I'm not going to throw a huge fit. I just want to have a talk with him and get that back. 
question for you, officer. Yeah. Do you even know if he stole anything? Yeah, I was I was right behind him when he when he nabbed his uh it looked like a golden cookie. Oh. I, I tried to nab him, but he, he grabbed it first and you know he's a quick little bugger. That that's true words have never been said, officer. <laughs> Uh, if you mind, I must be on my way. Oh no! Yeah, you hit out. Uh, just it's like I, I tried to make it easy on Jimmy. You know, find out. Jimmy shambles away. Okay. So Tim would be sleeping, correct? Yes. All right. Can I roll for? Do I need to roll to like sneak in his house in his room? You're in a backpack. I I'm right, dude. But is this his family's house? Yes. That's what I thought. Oh, so uh, they'll I'm be away. Well. Knock on his door and go say that you are having a nightmare again, and go up and you want to sleep in Tim's room. <laughs> that's oh, a really that's really creepy. That's a really weird like norm <laughs> to be Doing, going on. Hey, Mister and Mrs. Taryn, uh, I had a nightmare. Can I go sleep with Taryn? I got this. You I should roll persuasion or performance or something. Wait, Jimmy's wait, wait! No, 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 no. Hold on. One step at a time. One step at a time. Jimmy's got this. All right, Jimmy. He walks to the door and he knocks on it. Okay. And uh, 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 Taryn's, uh, Taryn's dad answers the door. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Corbin. Hey there. Uh, hey there, Mr. Corbin. Uh, and he's kind of squinting. He's like, Jimmy, uh, yeah. what, are you, what are you doing out this late? Well, Taryn... He uh, wanted me to meet him late tonight. He wanted to show me something cool in his telescope, and he said I only could see it tonight on any night, so I came over here. Oh, Did he not tell you about it? Excuse. That's a interesting. All right. I, that's I, pretty that's, good. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. Just head on up to his room. You know where it's at. You've been uh, over Thanks, Mr. Corbin. And I uh -huh. walk right up to his room. And when I walk in the room, I go, I just see Taryn sitting there. Yeah, he's like in his bed. bed. And I just like shake Taryn awake. And then after he wakes up, I go, Look what I brought. Look what I brought you. And I shake kids out of my backpack. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my dagger and stand over top of him and be like, Well, he's like sitting up at this point. Okay, I want to be like, I'm going to stand there and be like, So, uh, why did you tell him? So I'm going to roll a deception check. Uh, see sure. If I can trick him. Wait for perception. Oh, deception. deception. Oh, I mean, you say what you want, and then you roll it. Oh, okay. Well, he just rolled. For yeah, yeah. What are you saying? What are you saying, Tim? I was gonna say yes. Um, I'm really tired. Um, what? What's going on? Why are you talking? Why are you? Why are you accusing me? Of? What? What? What happened? So what do I need to roll? That wasn't. Uh, roll a wisdom save. Yeah. Wisdom save. Yes. Uh, Just you're like, you're like, if anything, you're like, I feel like there might be like one, maybe one detail he's leaving out, but otherwise, yeah, he seems like he's tired and he's confused and for the most part, but it, he feels like maybe there's something else he might be hiding, just something small. And I just want to be like, well, Taryn. You're the only one that knew I was sitting there, and the guard specifically told me when I stole this cookie, don't act surprised, that they said I'd be in here. They? They? Who's that? You mean Granny? Um, and I want to go what, what about this cookie? What's going on with the cookie? What What did you do to Giz? What in the world have you been doing? Did you I, actually I, try to steal that cookie from Granny? At this I point, don't think you'd actually... <laughs> Do I see Taryn's bag laying around with all his potions? Um, do a perception check. <laughs> um, you notice he's got like a lot of bags around and they're all like covered over. Like, the, the top of the bag folds over, so you're not sure, like, which bag has something in it, but you see, like, a bunch of bags. You got a lot of his, like, research and, you know, his notes. And All right, so I want to go over to a bag and open it up. What do I find? Hold on, hold on. I'm like, what? Giz, you're opening up my bag. What are you, what are you doing, Giz? What do I find? 
I'm, um, just, I'm angry. I'm like going over toward him, trying to stop him. I'm like, like trying to pull him. Okay, uh, you find uh, uh, some books. All right, I start ripping the pages out of the books. I'm pulling him away. Hold on, he doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling him away at this point. Okay, too. I mean, do like a do a strength. Both of you do a strength. Also, strength. also, I feel like he doesn't. Um, like he definitely isn't that suspicious. Like you just said, he's not like. Yeah, I threw a one. He seems like I'm telling. Uh, so <laughs> you couldn't even rip a page. Yeah, I was gonna out. say you can't. You can't. You're having difficulty ripping a page, and then uh, Aaron, Aaron grabs you and, and pushes you away, and pretty roughly. I'm yeah. like, he's like, some and, I'm like yeah, I'm yeah. and I'm mad now. Like I'm awake and I'm mad now. I'm like, Gizzle, what are you doing? You're. I want to be like I want to be like from Granny, and then you, then you just rip pages out of my book. You set fires, you commit arson. What? What's it going to take to get some prove, sense into your head? You can't prove that the fire was me. You know very well it was you. Can't prove it. Can. Was it though? I mean, you tell us all about your great plan, and then there's some fire that naturally happens. It yeah, my just plan somehow was, happens at Granny's, and you have a Charmander. Come my, on. My plan was to get a bunch of people to run into the store, not set fire and commit arson. Yeah, well, maybe that's how you've tried to get a bunch of people to run in. I saw you sneak into Granny's after that fire yeah, started. You... There was three people in that store. The guard, who was preoccupied, Granny, who was in a different room, and you, who looked right at me. So you know what? Tired, but I you think know what? What if I? What if I did rat on you? I'm not saying I did. You know, like you think, and you were ripping pages on my book for no reason. But if I did, you deserve it. You've stolen Pokemon from Professor Oak. You've stolen the cookie from Granny. You. I you, steal things. That's what I do. You know this. You're my friend. Yeah, that's not okay. You know, it's not okay to steal stuff from old ladies. Why don't you steal it from people who deserve it? And to have you, to have you wrap me in like you did, I did not. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can be free. I just want to take out my dagger. Jimmy steps in right there. Well, I you know. I don't know if I can be friends with you either. If you're going to be like this, Jimmy steps in right when he sees that, and he goes, "Hold it, hold it, put that dagger away." I just want to start stabbing random stuff in his room, but hold it as well. Nope. Hold on, I'm holding. Am I still holding him? Like I have this. You, you pushed like, him away, but Jimmy is standing in the way of of. Uh, uh, when I see him, when I see him trying to go for like other stuff, I just pick him right up. Okay. I mean, first you come. Hang on, hang on roll for that. Roll for that. Roll. For yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 you did get a strength save yeah. of one. I feel like he's at disadvantage. Was Quinn at disadvantage right yeah, he, now? With... He's able to grab you. Uh, he doesn't pick you up, but he grabs you. Okay. Um. Am I able to? Let's see what's in my inventory. I'm not not force grabbing. Um, I'm also going to take while he's grabbing him. I'm going yeah, to take the backpack and I'm going to take the book. I'm going to take that cookie. I'm going to like Any take the gold cookie. Okay. I, I think it's on his person, not in his bag. On me, because the right. backpack was where where uh, Gizzle was put into for uh, uh, for Jimmy to carry him around. But Jimmy has a hold of him, right? Well, this is true. Yeah, I'm not letting so, you. When you move towards him, I just hey. When you move towards Tyler, Gizzle, I grab, yeah. I hold can you I back. Can I pull up my pokeball and throw it at Tim? Um, technically yes. I don't want. I want to do that. Would, okay. Would he have able to move around while I'm holding him? Yeah, uh, well, it, you just got I me. Think you, my back. You're, you're grabbing him, holding him in place. But not like hugging him necessarily. I'm not trying to hug him. I'm yeah. just trying to talk some sense in But he's able to, like, he can't like swing his dagger around, but he could like reach in his pocket and kind of toss the Pokeball out. I don't okay. think it's going to hit Tim, but it'll fall out. Before he grabs it, it will, um, it will um, activate, right? Before I want to grab the Pokeball. Uh, depends. I want to say something. Quinn, are you him. activating it? Well, I want, oh, okay. I want to be able to, if I'm not going to be, if I know I'm in the situation where I'm not going to be able to throw it at him, I don't want to throw it. Okay. You, it won't I, hit him. Why won't it hit him? Because because Jimmy is kind of like holding you in place. He's got to hold your like shoulders. All right. Well, what if I take out my my uh, 
dagger and I throw it at him as he goes to reach for my. Well, I, he, he's, he's, I held him back from going up to yeah. you. Yeah, because you had your dagger out and then he stopped you as soon as he saw you had the dagger out. All right, I just want to give him an expletive filled rant, calling him all these names and telling how betrayed I feel. Okay, okay. After, so, after can I roll? Can I roll? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, what, did Jimmy? Jimmy's care. What are you doing? After his rant's done, I look at him and I go, "Okay, Giz. You know what? I'm fine with you robbing people." And stealing from people and stuff like that for the right reasons, but we don't steal from people who do good to us. When has Granny ever done wrong to you? That's right, never. Because she's always been sweet to us, and that's how it is. I'm doing the best to help us on our journey. I'm getting us 30 extra gold for our journey. You, you can help us. In no, he does. Mm-hmm. Not stealing from people who don't want to hurt us. That's you understand? right. No, I it's don't. It's like, know. I don't want to hurt you. I want to steal from you. 